Hey you guys, I just got back from a run. And yes, I'm 59 years old. I just got back from a run. And um, you can tell I'm 59 if you look at my wrinkles. <laughs> um, but I love working out. I love working out. I love running. I do personal training twice a week at the gym with like the ball slams and the kettlebells and pushing the sled and jumps, plyometrics. And I just feel like a little kid when I do it, like a little five-year-old kid. It's super fun. And then three times a week I do Pilates, which is really intense. She pays really good attention to my form and every muscle. And I've been really developing a strong core and I... I'm going to, she's probably going to do a case study on me as one of her case studies. Um, there's a lot of different work I've done to get my body in good alignment, which got off after I had twisted this ankle on a trail run. And I was walking for a long time. Whenever I would stand up, this foot would be forward because more weight was on here. And this one would always land down. So in the past year, it's gotten to now, now when I stand up at the kitchen sink and look down, my feet are like railroad tracks under my hips. And I love learning about my body and being in my body. I don't listen to music when I work out. I just focus on my breathing and my muscles. And it's so satisfying. And another thing I want to say is that all growth happens outside the comfort zone. Um, I don't always want to get outside of my comfort zone. When it comes to exercise, I do. But in some areas of my life, I don't. But that's where all the growth happens. I'm making this video to show off. <laughs> um, and also to inspire you because if I can do it, you can do it. You may have to get a personal trainer or just find something you enjoy because life is really fucking amazing when my body feels healthy and fit. I don't take any hormones. I don't take anything. I'm not on any medications. This is just me having my natural energy, which is there because I exercise and I drink water and I eat well. And people who work out are better in bed, for sure. People who work out are just better in bed. And my hips used to be tight. You know, I can rotate my hips. I'm not trying to turn you on, but see how much mobility I have in my hips? And that's all from the Pilates. See, I can do all this. Nothing hurts and it's all loose. Okay? That's from the Pilates. I have had three children. I do have some stretch marks, which is fine. Um, I've never done any plastic surgery, but yeah, I have some loose skin. If I do a um, plank, you will. this will hang down like a triangle. This will hang down. I don't care. That's my testament to being a mother, and I'm very proud of being a mother and a grandmother. That's just a very important part of my life, and these are my tributes. The only thing I struggle with and have struggled with are my wrinkles, and I'm still on a journey to um, love my wrinkles. But, you know, I don't absolutely love them, but we all have to make peace with our aging. Anyway, I think that if we don't get outside of our comfort zone, I think that I, when I don't get outside of my comfort zone, I stagnate and stagnation is a decline and a death of vitality and aliveness. So um, getting out of our comfort zones physically, emotionally, and physically is really important. But I have to say my life is super freaking easy and I'm just kind of coasting along in my life. I haven't been challenged in a really long time. Um, so hopefully there won't be anything that comes up that's super challenging because that's really uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, um, leave your comments below if you guys like to work out or what you like to do for working out. And you can contact me for coaching. I'm going to put my link in the description below.